What's up guys, Jimmer's HS here today. Today we are doing another statue review. I know, right? We haven't done one of those in a while, but we are doing one today. I am so stoked about it. And it is, of course, the Mach 2 Iron Hulkbuster Avengers Infinity War Diamond Gallery statue. Let's talk about it. So when we get into the statue, we're going to be going over three main parts about him today. We're going to be going over the quality. Is he worth the price? Is he structurally good? Is it a good, firm statue that you want? Is it something you can get as a beginner? Stuff like that. St number two, we're going to talk about movie representation. Does this statue represent what you see in Avengers Infinity War? And in number three, we're just going to be going over how does he feel should you buy this one overall? Three things, let's get into it. We're going straight into the structure and quality of this product. Now, this product retails around $75 when I bought it. The price may have lowered by now, I think it's now in the 60s, but I'll have the price up here somewhere. As you can see, for $75 for Diamond Gallery, that's a little more money than you're it used to. But you get your money's worth, in my opinion. This one has so much structure into it, it is unbelievable. It's firm. It's strong. You can hit it on the head, and it's fine. It's made of PVC, so you don't have to worry too much about that. It's got good durability, and since it's PVC, you should still go ahead and dust it, like you regularly should, at least one, two weeks to a month for every statue. But... The nice thing about PVC is yes, uh, the, the, it will uh, clay a little bit, it will make some little stuff if you let the dust settle, so don't leave it for too long. But the nice thing about these is that you're able to, it's a little more forgiving for beginners. Now the really cool thing about this one is that it is very firm, alright? This is a structurally strong and heavy, if I may add, statue that has a lot of cool benefits with it. It's got really good parts. It's all one big piece. So you don't have to assemble it too much. That was my problem with the Mafel statue that we saw. Yeah, this is just like that one was cool, but it is fragile. This is not fragile. All right. There are bits here with the grass that you have to be careful of. If you're being too rough, it can have problems. I was when I was packaging this when I was about to move. I did bend some of the grass a little. It didn't break off, but it did bend into a position that doesn't look too good. But it's just one piece, not much to worry about. The cool thing about this entire statue is that it just has so much texture to it that I love it. It's got all these cool plastic looks, it's got that shiny red and that gold bursting out with it. And it is freaking huge and I love it. I love these big gear spots that you get to see. It makes it really feel like a big machine almost. And yeah, I love the arc reactor, the giant neck that pops out. It's a really cool statue. So, for section one in quality and in structure, I'm gonna say it is amazing. I love it and it is really good. Now, on to step two. Movie representation is just lack a little bit behind. Now, you are only paying $75 for the statue. And for $75, you can get a lot of statues, but very few to this quality. Now, what this does have in quality, it doesn't have as much movie representation. Yes, you know that this is Hulkbuster. Whether this is Hulkbuster Mach 1 or Mach 2, that is harder to tell. And I also think about this one is that it, you know, because it's that, it's Diamond Gallery. They're not super into detail, but they're usually very good in showing you the character and how it's good it is. This one I feel like faults in that just a little bit. So as you can see, you can see all these smooth edges and I compliment them the quality and the structure. The thing is though, this does actually end up failing a little bit in the actual movie representation. When you're looking at this from the movie's perspective, it's all smooth, it's all good looking, but you don't see a lot of working parts. Now there are some really cool paint details that they did and then you can see certain things here. But you can't see like really a bunch of wires, you can't see a bunch of things like that. And I know that's very fine detail. So for the price, I'm letting this slide. But if you are winning a really movie accurate one, 
then this is probably not the one for you. When you're, I compare this kind of like the Sour Fang model in uh, the Blizzard's Legends. It's a great statue, really cool, but character representation in the game, it falls a little bit. You know it's Sour Fang, but he doesn't look exactly like in the game, and the same goes for this one. But what this thing does really well is it has this, the Wakanda Grass, alright? Now, this is something you probably don't think much about when you're buying it, but when you pull it out of the box, it is one of the coolest parts about this model. What's so cool about the Hulkbuster model is that it has so many cool details with it, but with the grass, this lets you know, hey, we're in Wakanda, and that is excruciatingly important to let you know this is Avengers Infinity War. When the last time we saw the Hulkbuster, it was in a city, I think in Sokovia or something like that, alright, in the Age of Ultron. This one, it has grass, you know that's Wakanda, and that is very, very important for the statue. So because of that, it goes up a little more, so if you want a truly accurate one, then maybe you should go for one that's more money, if you're a more serious collector. But if you're just wanting one that represents what you think is a Hulkbuster one, then this one will do you just fine. And now we're going into the third and final category. How does it make you feel when you look at it, and is it worth the price? So, everything we've done for structure and quality to movie representation, how well does the statue do? Well, when I look at this statue, when I look at it, what do I think? I think, holy crap, it is so cool, and I love that. This entire statue just has so many cool parts to it, and it's so big, <laughs> it is so much fun. You get to see so many cool parts to it. It's got these big knuckles that are ready to punch the Hulk, you can feel like, or any monsters that come its way. It's just a really, really good statue, and it feels like the Hulk, alright? It gave me the same feeling that I saw in Hulk, in the Hulkbuster in the Age of Ultron movie. And it's the same thing here. I love it. Yeah, it's not completely movie represented, whatever. Alright, you can get one on Amazon for $380 if you want. Or you can get a $75 one, which will make it just as cool, super durable, and really cool. For only $75, guys. This is a steal. $75 is a steal for the statue, and I am in love with it. I hope you guys are too. And I would say if you want a cool Avengers Marvel statue for cheap, get the Diamond Gallery. Sure, $75 is more than a Diamond Gallery typical one, which is 50, 40 to 50. But for just a little more money, you get something so cool. So if you are looking for an amazing statue, one that is awesome, that will blow your friends away when you have it, or that you just think you would like around the house, your kids may like, that your you know that you your parents may like, go ahead and get the Diamond Gallery Mach 2 Hulkbuster Avengers Infinity War statue. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time. Bye.